Hey guys, uh, Angry Joe and Delrith here. Welcome to the exclusive, as far as I'm aware, uh, <laughs> Dreadnought uh, gameplay video. We are actually live capturing this directly from the floor of PAX. Yeah. Um, and uh, they, they kindly allowed us to hook up an Elgato to one of their computers and the screens. Uh, so we should have some, some exclusive gameplay just to show you. Because it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to show you why I'm so excited about this game. A lot of you know I love space combat. I love big lumbering ships that move slowly and launch all fighters. Fire everything! Type of thing, yeah. All of my favorite things. So I'm so glad that there is a game like that uh, coming out. Uh, the best way, I guess, to describe this game is going to be... Uh, five versus five arena type combat. You can try to compare it with MOBAs. It's not exactly a MOBA. It's not really a MOBA. Not no. really a MOBA, actually. But uh, it, it, it has that competitive element to oh, it. Yeah. And if you're a huge sci-fi nut uh, like me, if, if John Luke Picard and, and Jane Way and Solo and all the famous captains yep. uh, are, are, are um, you know something you're into, you're going to love uh, being a captain of your own huge lumbering capital ship. Now, uh, you obviously uh, have a different uh, things that you can pick from in the game, and we're going to show that to you now. Okay, so we got the uh, we found the match, and let's go ahead and start up the game. Uh, team Deathmatch is the mode we're playing here. It's the mode that they're being uh, they're showing off for Pack South. Yep. Oh, I fucking love this intro screen. It really shows, uh, you know, the theme the game's going for. I was worried. I hadn't seen this screen before. I was worried that we wouldn't see things in space because yeah. a lot of it was just low orbit stuff around yeah. terrain and buildings. Uh, but getting to see that was cool. So right here, you actually uh, get the ability to pick what ship you want. You saw just there, I picked the Dreadnought. So this is the Dreadnought class. Del, talk yep. a little bit about this. Uh, the Dreadnought class is like the heavy bruiser. Um, it has an immense amount of firepower and armor, but it's so slow. Mm -hmm. um, yes. and so generally, it has to be supported. And if it's supported, it can kill everything. Um, y you know, so it, it definitely needs help, but it's the slowest ship in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. You can easily outmaneuver it yep. with a Corvette, but God, the broadsides. Okay, here we go into the match. Notice there, I think we had about two Dreadnoughts and a one artillery ship and some other ships as well. So I was super happy the, the, the devs loaded up this map that I had not seen before. Yeah. They might have done it because we know that they, we were capturing it. This is in space. It's in an asteroid field. There's yeah, like a star, a star base or a construction field here. So uh, as you can see, our team is moving together. Uh, somebody on our team is already engaging the enemy. They, they, they see and they're firing their long range weapons. That was me as a sniper yeah so i'm gonna actually see notice how slow and lumbering the dreadnought ship is yep. but i love it um so i'm actually gonna try to flank here on the left and what you saw there uh, very quickly was me fire off my number four ability which is a hyper jump and so you gotta wait for a cooldown, and then you jump ahead a bunch and it allows me to surprise the enemy pull off a flanking maneuver i'm firing my cannons and if you'll notice the radical is flashing red just there i threw up my shields and i launched my missiles and there goes Boom. first kill yeah. right <laughs> and the sounds i gotta say the sounds on the gun are so satisfying most definitely they are just that boom 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 so they're uh, the, those little FMV dudes. Well, they're single screens right now, but hopefully in the game there'll be, there'll be something else. They're sort of teaching us how to play and talking with each other over radio chatter. So I've got another target here. I just jumped right on top of a ship, but this guy probably doesn't know how to play because remember we're playing people on the pack south floor and we're really giving it to him. So this guy's trying to figure it, out. It his looks weapons. like he's right in the perfect position too. Where you right, I just switched to my Q right there. You have yeah. two different weapons. Q on the dreadnought is a much more powerful weapon, but you have to be damn close. So what you want to do is you want to use your four warp drive in conjunction with the Q uh, when you close distance on somebody. Yep, you're Here, getting healed. Right I'm now. getting healed with the green laser you see there, and I just launching my broadside right now. This is a perfect time to launch the broadside, and I fired off my missiles. See if my missiles hit him. Nope. 
he got he probably went down before that so i'm showing off there a support ship if you have a support ship repairing a dreadnought you've got an unstoppable yeah, pretty uh, much, little yeah. team so what do we got going on here uh it looks like you're just sitting there waiting to get repaired the enemy sniper was shooting you a bunch but I don't know where he went. You're targeting another sniper. Oh, that's who you're killing right now. That yep. little bitch that was shooting you with his gun. Yeah. And it looks like he's going to run away. I think you're about to warp, though. If I oh, that's a ship right, right next to me. Oh, yeah, that's engaging right warp. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just looking for some targets at this point. Uh, uh, we are completely wrecking this team. I found another target right there. I just can't popped get behind it. cover. That that was my initial concern. I was like, okay, four cap, five capital ships versus five, five capital ships in open space or in space. That's yeah. not going to be very interesting, except for the 3D movement. But I was so surprised with uh, the amount of terrain, the creativity that went into a lot of this stuff. So you got asteroids, you got buildings, and it gets even crazier when you get down in low orbit. So right there, you saw me. I engaged my, um, I, I added power to engines. If you notice on the back, you can even see it visually. My engines are working their hardest yeah. to push this real big lumbering ship forward. You need to do that a lot as you're playing the the heaviest uh, capital ship in the game, the Dreadnought. Here, here goes again. All power to the engines. I know, and I felt good. And then also using your targetable. four ability yeah. is going to allow you to get to the location quicker. So I do that here. Boom, right in front. Let's see if I can pull an excellent maneuver. I switch to my Q, which is going to do heavy, heavy damage. I'm right on top of him, Boom, completely surprised him. And it looked like there comes a, a Dell uh, artillery, yep, artillery shot there. Yep, artillery shot. Or a, a sniper shot, yep. I think. The, uh, the sniper's pretty great. Okay, let's see. I've got a, a perfect position here. There goes the broadside. That is the full broadside. He just ate my full broadside. He's down to half health already. He's trying I, to kill your medic yep. right now. That's what he's doing. Yep. There's so let's see if there. we can stop him real quick. Oops, I fired off the broadside on accident. Kind of didn't hit a, too much there. See, what you should have done is jumped on top of him. Yeah. You still have your four right now. If you look up up top of the screen, go ahead and tell them what, what we got so here. So the far ability on the left, that is your, I believe, I can't. That's the warp drive. Yeah, no, the warp drive is the far right. Is the fourth ability. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yep, yeah, the warp drive is the third ability, the fourth ability. There's one mission. Well, what I, what I was saying is, I just want to point out the interface. So up top, you'll see all the indicators of when, uh, what things are on cooldown, what abilities each ship has. Right now, I think I, I pretty much stay in the the dreadnought because like this match we wanted to win because it's oh, the yeah. first time I'm recording and I wanted to smash the enemy team. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. That is orgasmic. I love the, 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 the little shoot, the yeah, little pods open, up. and you see the missiles go up. It's just orgasmic. And you can see the snipers trying to kill each other back there. Yeah. It's just, This is space porn, is what it is. Firing. I think you got an error. Heard the no, I don't have an error. All right, so I'm looking for more targets, applying extra speed. Up, oh, somebody right below you, another dreadnought, and there's the full broadside. Broad Holy shit! He had some shields up, so he absorbed most of it, but he's definitely going down. We are just popping them one by one, and the explosions are so impressive right there. Who is the uh, the medic? The medic. He is that doing a great Beard. job. Angerbeard is doing a great job supporting us. I don't think we've lost a single ship. These, the PAX South attendees had no chance against us. No, they didn't. <laughs> we the, took this the, shit and serious. And then later on, the devs even tried, but even then, they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't. So I'm doing the best we can to mop up the remaining enemies here. You've got lots of information in front of you, indicators that pretty much tell you uh, your energy output, um, your health, all sorts of good information uh, yeah. relevant right there at your fingertips on the screen. Top right hand side is your map that you'll be utilizing a lot. I wish that they would put a little bit of terrain on the map, but that could just be we're playing an alpha right now. Yeah, you, you might be... Uh you might also be playing, maybe they do that for like land-based maps uh, yes. later on, yeah. 
That guy is getting lit up. Yeah, He's running he is. And I love seeing ships on to my right and left for my broadside. I'm trying to set it up, and luckily he ducked down behind cover. That's another very important maneuver. You see, right now I'm ascending. You can see the little jump jets under my ship firing off. I'm trying to gain, gain some altitude so I can jump over this obstacle. And I, and I made it actually. I'm gonna start opening up right now. Getting some health from Anger Beard there behind. I'm taking some fire. I immediately put up my shields. This sh this missile salvo should hit, and we need at this point one more kill to win the game. So maybe I can take out this final enemy. Let's have those missiles Sniper's slam into to him. Get him. There's the missiles. Oh, and oh, he's, he's gone. Yeah. I think he was dead before my missiles even arrived. No, I think your missiles finished him because you right. got the kill credit. You got 100 points for that. Hell yes, victory. Absolute domination in our first match. We are screaming our heads off at this yeah, point. Yeah, we were. We even had some, some fans who recognized me on the side that were going crazy. Uh, so I think in this one, uh, I was actually, uh, if I remember right, Robinson is who I was. I think you were Adama. Yeah, I was a Dama. I was a Dama. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, at, as like uh, Robinson. Yep. So, as uh, uh, as uh, a Dama, uh, what what ship class did you play mostly there? Um, I, I was the sniper the entire time. Yeah, kill death ratio 3.0. You got nine kills, three deaths. Me That's sitting in right. my dreadnought, optimizing uh, my movement, my shields, my weapon energy, firing off the abilities at all the correct times. I think that was probably my best match at, at, at flawless maneuvering, and I had and then, uh, uh, six yeah. kills, zero deaths. Kill death ratio, of course, six. Only one assist. I didn't get much on the score side. I don't know what actually factors into that. You got a, a lot higher score than yeah, I did. Yeah, the, the thing that factored into the score was uh, you get ribbons for doing things like assists and damage. Mm -hmm. Damage is what gave me that. Ah, uh, I was yeah, getting the 500 were. damage ribbons, the 750, the 1,000. Um, and that's because when you're but shooting with a sniper, up. you're hitting for like 400 damage around. And if you get like all your shots on a dreadnought, you're just racking up the points. I know they're probably going to adjust that in the future, but mm -hmm. you know it was it was working really well. It, it's a fun game. Definitely. All right, let's go over here to the second match, and this one I'm going to show you uh, a different ship, uh, so that we could see what uh, what the other ships play like. Okay, uh, server started. We found the match. And the devs switched it over to a different map type, so you could see this is yep. one of the uh, very low orbit uh, battles, Dry Dock. Uh, we're still doing Team Deathmatch at this point. I think point. it's still Saturn. You're just on top of Saturn or something. That's right very now. possible. Yeah. Here we go. The pre-setup screen. This this allows you to see what ships your teammates are selecting. And right here, I believe oh, that is it? the destroyer. I love the destroyer. That's different. It's it's nice. actually one of the the devs that I was talking to his favorite ship. I think the the actual CEO loves yeah. the destroyer. the destroyer. That's yeah. definitely not Saturn though. That looks like Pluto or mm -hmm. something. Maybe I have no idea. Yeah. And this ship actually has a battering ram on it, guys. That's actually why he loves it so much. But um, so I'm just gonna kind of spin the ship here to ship, show you. Say. Yeah, and a lot of I love space games, right? Yeah. Uh, but the one requirement for me is you have to have cool looking ships. Oh yeah. And this game has the cool looking ships. It's really combined. cool looking yeah, ships. You yeah. You see all the turrets moving there. Okay, so we're in the battle. I know we've at least got one dreadnought, one artillery, one destroyer, and I believe that's a corvette on your right we and another corvettes. destroyer yeah, on corvettes. your left. So you've got two destroyers, one dreadnought, one artillery, and one fast corvette. So the corvette is probably jetting out there, uh, gonna locate the enemy for us here. I'm gaining altitude to try to look over uh, this building's terrain to try to obtain some targets. We got a target. And you activated your battering ram. Not yeah, sure I freaked why. out a little bit. You freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I love the guns on the on the on the. Um, the destroyer, they sound so powerful. They do so much damage at point blank. Oh, they're so fast firing else, too. Anywhere else, they don't do anything. Yeah. So, like at this range, you see you're barely scratching that guy's hull when you land shots. Yeah, you see. So the the best thing about the destroyer, though, is it's got its fourth ability replenishes all of your energy. So exactly. the way you combo with that is you do things like 
all First your energy, kill right there. Yep, all your energy into movement. Get right next to somebody. Refresh your energy. Load it into weapons and just tear that guy a new one with it. Going for kill number two now. You notice as you as you maneuver your ships, the different broadside turrets are firing. With the uh, destroyer, it's best to have the enemies right in your front arc so you can pour full fire. I'm trying to battering ram. Damn it! The ability turned off before I was able to uh, get it, but we're, it doesn't matter. We're pouring fire. He smartly me. warps out of the position that he's in behind us. And uh, my rear arc doesn't have quite as many turrets on it, so I'm going to swing my ship around here, uh, broadside him to finish him off. In fact, I think I'm going to go for another battering ram attempt. So you have to time your battering ram ability correctly. And he him. is down. Yep. And here comes the missiles. <laughs> oh, oh no. shit, I'm taking it. Oh, 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 shit, my ship. Oh, see, you know what? I love... I actually like getting hit in this game. This yeah. is one of the rare games that's like, yeah, fuck me up! Because I, all the little explosions on your ship, it, it just, it looks so amazing. And I, I hope in future iterations that we see like uh, some really nice damage modeling on this ship. Oh, like yeah. individual turrets all broken and, and maybe in, you know, decks. Where you see or little the people bulkheads. floating out when you blow the <laughs> That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, so I'm gonna increase speed. I'm gonna try to do another battering rumor. I increase speed. I activated my ability. Oh, and he's fucking boom! Almost about a third of his health, and it, and I have a bunch and more. I'm coming around die. for another pass. Oh, I'm a, I'm go. down. I'm down. I took too much because I ran right into three of and them. And you go down into the ground. That's so great. You literally crashed yeah. into the cliff. That, that was cool. All my my uh, my wreckage is just shattering across the cliffside. That is just too cool, guys. And now you're a Corvette. Okay, so I wanted to show off as many ships as I could, so I switched to the Corvette to show you guys how quick this ship is. So your your main objective with the Corvette, what you want to do is you want to get up to the Dreadnoughts, get under the Dreadnoughts so they can't do shit to you, and fire up above and uh, hide. I have a stealth ability that I fucked up there because once you shoot, your stealth ability turns off. So I'm getting under this ship, and right there I actually uh, increase my power to the weapons, that skull. Uh, so you can direct your energy to increase the power of your primary weapons. The Corvette is extremely strong for one main reason. It has a torpedo barrage. Yep. And so what you do is you boost your engines, go cloak, get right behind a ship, hit them with the torpedoes, and they just die. God it's damn, we are fucking dominating yeah, one we were right just after the other. Them. We're we got, staying yeah. in a tight uh, fleet formation. Uh, I'm doing what I need to do, acquiring the targets quick, getting under them. I'm going to try another stealth maneuver here. Um, but unfortunately, like an idiot, I pressed the fire button and I got unstealth. But I increased uh, my speed, I believe. That's why I'm moving so damn fast right now. Yeah. The other ability this thing has, which is awesome, is the uh, the ability to disable missiles with like a massive burst of, of energy. It's really great in that regard, too. All right, I'm taking a lot of fire here. Throw up my shields. I'm going to try to use this building as cover. I cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with many ships. You need to make sure you, you, you use your speed advantage and um, your maneuverability advantage to uh, take advantage of cover. So here I'm going to try the stealth uh, maneuver again. I'm going to go stealth. I'm going to try to get under him. But by then, my team already fucked yeah, the hell Yeah, he had two dreadnoughts him. right on right either on. side of him, broadsiding him. Yep. That poor guy did not stand, a chance, stand a chance. Not yeah. even slightly. So let's try to acquire a new target here. And you found two medics. And the medic just flew away. Yep. So there are devs that are coaching. Oh, oh, oh my god, I almost rubbed against this, the side of the map. This was the match where the, the devs map. were playing against us. There were two of them doing it, and they were playing the medics. Enemy yep. The they still had no chance against us. No, they did so. not. Not, no. not the angry army. All right, I increased my speed. I'm Guys, I'm going to try to show you the uh, missile... Uh, e uh, the EM electric countermeasures against the missiles. So I'm gonna throw my ship against the missiles and I'm gonna fire off the ability. Boom, and notice uh, I exploded a few of the missiles. Unfortunately, doing that put me right in the middle of the battle, put me out of position. And there's more of them. And I'm oh, taking no, I'm taking I'm... heavy damage now. 
and the missiles finished you off, actually. Which yeah, is... I, I, I basically kind of threw myself into that just to show you that ability. So yeah. let's try a, a different ship. The Corvette's made of paper. Yeah. So, by the way. So. Yeah, you don't want to get in a one-on-one -on -one battle. You will fucking lose. All right, so it looked like I picked the artillery ship, the sniper, the sniper essentially. Ship. At this point, we were so far ahead. It was, Ooh. you know, do whatever. So there's the ability. You do get a little indicator on your reticle whether you're hitting or not. I do want to make a point that the uh, the sniper ship, they did say this is confirmed, they will be limiting the cone of fire a lot more from the main gun because it's a forward-facing gun. Yeah, because uh, right now you can fire directly yeah, upward Yeah, you can fire straight down. down, straight up. It's definitely not balanced. Yeah, there, there, um, there needs to, there's definitely going to be some balancing going on. Obviously, this is still an alpha. They're about to go into friends and family, and then after that, uh, you know, closed alpha and, and, and then eventually beta. Yeah, um, but yeah, this ship is extremely powerful oh, uh, yes. in this this version of the game. And you'll see when you hit something, it just drops. I love that sound too. That's a pretty awesome sound. Yeah. Wow, wow, like a fucking railgun. All right, increase power to weapons right there, and I am just doing my best to zoom in and, and get some hits. Now this is where the devs are 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 telling. Uh, now they're hearing our tactics because we're talking to each other. Oh, yeah. The devs are hearing it. They're cheating and they're saying, okay, what we want you to do is uh, fuck with the sniper, uh, elevate and descend, elevate and descend. And so eventually all, yeah. you're going to see the enemy team uh, try to dodge all of my sniper shots. Look, here you go. That guy's descending, trying to juke me out. Now he's ascending again. <laughs> It's really hard from this distance to peg him. Yep. Dell may be a little bit better at it because he's used to first-person shooters. But... Oh, you're about to see me warp in there, too. I, I was playing a destroyer in this, and I show up right on top of him. Holy shit, that fucking dreadnought flipped the hell out. But yeah, at this point, the devs are like, guys, we can't beat him in close combat. Hang back and try to kill him. Yeah. They are being wily little motherfuckers and dropping, and, and we won. We won. <laughs> yeah! We wrecked face. Guys, uh, we're serious. This game is so fun. I mean, it's so fun that Angerbeard, uh, when he saw this little captain's hat that looked like the commissar's hat, he was like, yep, yeah, I'm buying that. He bought it. Buying yeah. that for streaming, his little captain's hat. Now I want a goddamn captain's hat, and I want a fake parrot on my shoulder <laughs> as I stream the game. So uh, these are the captains. They talked. To, they said that they might have some captain avatars that you can oh, yeah. customize with different things. So... A lot of fun, uh, Dreadnought, definitely keep it on your radar, guys, we're serious. Uh, they, they are gonna, I wanted you guys to know, they are gonna allow you to customize your abilities. You will be able to switch out your secondary weapon for things like beam cannons and missile batteries and things. The primaries will be stuck, from what I was told. Mm -hmm. um, but you're gonna have like different abilities you can slot into your ships. Like, say you want your, uh, your, your, crew, your destroyer to have a warp because you gotta get that battering ram in quick, you'll be able to swap it out for something like that. Yeah. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to it, but it is a long ways off. It is, it is. It's a, it, it's even before um, um, Alpha right now. So what we're, what this is, this is a multiplayer game right now. Yep. It, they plan to make it a free-to-play multiplayer experience, five-on-five, five, yeah. with a bunch of different modes. And then uh, what really made me excited that added on to it already, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, I'm already sold on Dreadnought. And then Dell over here came, and, and he told me that he was talking with one of the devs and they plan a single player co-op co experience co-op yeah. later yeah. they're going to add co-op experience throughout a single player campaign with a story with cut scenes yep. and that that single player element will be episodic at a really great price and then you know they'll yep. release episodes as time goes along and they're really looking forward to uh, having the community uh, give feedback. So definitely leave some comments on this video of what you would like to see. You know, maybe some uh, you know crew additions oh, as yeah. little modifiers or something like that. That would be pretty thematic. Yep. Uh, just go crazy with the ideas and definitely keep an eye out for a dreadnought. Okay, guys. Custom skins for ships, for oh, sure. For sure. We're getting like kill markers to... every time you get a kill, you get like a hatch on yeah. the side. Or I want something. to paint my ship red and black, Angry Hell Joe yeah. colors. I want to fly the angry joe army flag oh, that's yeah. what i want to see <laughs> all right guys we'll see y'all on the next angry joe show